Hey guys, what is good? It's your girl Hannah back with another video. So, um, today, so tonight rather, <sighs> okay, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, um, I, I literally just rolled in from New Mexico, like from a whole week trip in New Mexico, and, um, to be exact, a little bit south of, um, Santa Fe. Of course, we had a freaking blast, and <sighs> I am telling you this because my skin has a freaked out a little bit because just the change of environment my skin if you don't know already is a definitely like acne prone and i have had a couple breakouts just in this past week don't don't love it not too joyful about it but you know gotta I mean, it was definitely way worse in the past and um nonetheless i am very happy with the track that my skin has been on but like right now i'm going to show you guys what i do to kind of calm down the inflation that happened while I was gone, you know, just like change of environment can really do that to you. Hold on, wait, before I ramble on more, I need to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by a, an awesome Korean skincare brand that I have really come to love called Ely Lab or Ely Lab. I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but I'm going to show you guys this mask. <laughs> they were so kind enough to um, send me this and I tried it out and you guys, it is awesome for, you know, calming down inflation, it, you know, awesome for acne and everything. It's a face mask, so I am going to be, you know, removing my makeup first and everything before I put it on. It's called a pink pineapple pudding mask and I will show you guys exactly how I use it and everything. I have not been wearing makeup up like every day because I just I don't feel like doing that on vacation do that because I already know that a change of environment is really hard for my skin so needless to say I came home today after a 13 hour car ride um, and then I put on a full face of like full coverage makeup because I really wanted to show you guys um, you know like the makeup remover I use and everything to really get it off because I love that stuff so I want to show you how good it works but just you know warning you that I'm about to get just a smidge less great looking. I love these little headbands from uh, I Do Care, like I D E W Care. I like how comfy it is, and it, it never really ruins my bangs. And I think it's really cute because, well, if you want to hear me get cheesy for a second, my fiance's last name is Bear, so, you know, can bear. It's kind of a lame, it works out. Anyways, um, sorry if the lighting is not the best, you guys. I am doing the best I can out here. Um, I just, I really wanted to do this in the bathroom, this part, and then I'm gonna take you guys to my other place. So this is my favorite little cleansing balm to use. It's the Vanilla Co. brand, which we have at Ulta in our, like, AMS skincare area with, like, where we have all our cream brands and everything. But you guys, look at how big this jar is, and I'm just, like, gone in and crushed it like they do make a variety of them and if you're just wondering this is a tripeal acid one so it is like the most pore clarifying one so since i do have but they do have one that's like actually nourishing if you have really sensitive skin i'd probably prefer that one for you um but yeah this one i you know i went from trying the original one i really like that one and i you know i, I really wanted something that kind of did some chemical exfoliation too because i have been all about that chemical exfoliation baby i don't know if it's been contributing <laughs> really to my pores being more clarified um but i still really enjoy using it nonetheless so you know i'm the type of person that uses like bha serums and stuff to really you know and aha to like really um pore clarify so that's what i kind of to. I'm like, hmm, what has been working? The things that I just kind of put on and I take off really quickly are not as just effective. So I always, um, that makes sense. But yeah, you guys, this cleansing balm, you can just see and feel it just like wiping and melting everything off immediately, which I am all about. And now I'm gonna go rinse this off and wash it with my cleanser, which, by the way, my cleanser right now is the Layers brand Milky Balancing, or Balancing Milky Cleanser. Okay guys, so I've fully cleaned off my face, and now I am revealing, like, I have a breakout here, here, and right here. This one being the freshest one. 
love it um so and i do know that i need to like do some tweezers tweezing but just don't mind that um this is gonna be my favorite thing ever it's gonna be so so good for my skin right now look how cute this little jar is it's like a little pineapple man that wants to give you a hug it also comes with an awesome little step spatula that is really nice and long so you can really scoop it out let me tell you what is in this that makes it so so good for my skin okay and just skin in general not just my skin but your skin too first of all you do get 3.38 blue ounces for $25 on Amazon. 100% vegan and cruelty free, so we love that. It does have a really light, kind of like pineapple-y smell. It's kind of smells like the pineapple pulp. It's a naturally derived extract, so it's not like a irritating fragrance by any means. So this has pineapple ceramides in it, which ceramides are amazing for the skin. We all know that. And pineapple is also a really nice, like, natural uh, chemical exfoliant as well that I've heard too. Um, but it also has tea tree leaf extract, so really good for detoxing the pores. It also has rose water in it to calm the skin and smooth the skin. And it also has red flower complex in it. It has a lot of really yummy skin things in it. I am like obsessed with this stuff because it, it literally helps with acne and it also just leaves your skin feeling so soft and moisturized. Um, they were kind enough to actually send me two and I did give one to my best friend Bia and she has been really loving it too so i'm gonna go ahead and put this on now it literally does feel like a pudding but it's definitely not too thick i can show you all the texture it's a very light pink pretty color so i'm just going to start applying it all around And I would say if you want to get really good results from it, to do it like two to three times a week. Because it is so, you know, calming and not irritating at all, I believe it would be really good to use it that often. Or just, you know, whenever you have time, you know, if you want to give yourself an extra little cleaning. It's not one of those that gets too, like, drying either, so I really like that. And I really like the fresh pineapple scent to it too not too much all right so i will come back to you guys in like 20 minutes okay so it's about 20 minutes later and i just rinsed it off my skin feels so so soft and just mm, so nice and it, it will feel even better in the morning and it doesn't feel dried out at all you should never feel dried out you guys want to definitely be making sure you taking care of that moisture barrier like even if you are you know having sensitive or um, acne prone skin. Definitely if you have acne prone skin, it is really important to keep up with your moisture barrier and not to, you know, weaken it. Anyways, I'm going to move into my vanity space and that is going to be where I'm going to do the rest of my night routine. Okay, so first I'm definitely going to be going in with my Peach Slices Snail Rescue Blemish Besting Toner. This is actually 95% snail mucin concentrate. I freaking love snail <laughs> for my skin. Um, all cruelty free, of course. Um, and you always wanna make sure you have a really clean hand. Sometimes I even find myself touching my phone after washing my face and knowing I'm about to put on serums and stuff. So I always go and wash my hands right before I get back into my skincare routine and make sure they are nice and fresh. But with this, I kind of just drop some onto my face this has a small amount of salicylic acid in it, which helps with acne. And it also has hyaluronic acid in it as well, which is really, really good for moisturization. And I have missed this stuff. I did not take it with me, so oh, my skin just needed this. Okay, and then after that is all dry and absorbed into my skin, I always go in with my multi-action super B barrier strengthening oil. And this is with vitamin B3 and prebiotics. So it goes in and it feeds um, the microbiome of your skin really well. And it also really strengthens just the moisture barrier or the lipid barrier on your skin too, which really, really important. Um, that B3 or the niacin mine is really, really good for calming down redness as well. Um, we love that. I'm just going to, and, this stuff is so, so nice. 
lately, especially because my skin has been super dry from the high altitude and while I was in the desert and everything, I loved this is something I did definitely bring with me and I love that it gives you this really nice light hydrating feel and it doesn't make your skin oily if you put it on in the morning either, which I really, really like. And the brand of this is Trevectin, by the way. I don't know if I said that, but it's from their like NIA114 technology line. Um, it's the first thing I've actually gotten from that whole line and I think I'm really liking it. So I might try more Strabectin stuff. Let me know if you have anything from that brand that you really, really like. I'm living for this. This feels so good after that. I'm gonna top this off for the night with this Peach and Lily Overnight Star Night Cream. And it has acai berry and black ginseng in it. You can see that I'm literally about to finish it, but I can tell you with full genuinity that this is a delight to finish. I like, I mean, not should just use, like I might buy this again um, if I don't get something that I feel satisfies me just as much, but this stuff literally leaves my skin glowing in the morning. Like you might notice it does, it kind of comes out blue. It is blue, <laughs> but after I rub it in, you will see. I'm like, I could probably use this for like one more night and I gotta figure something else out, but I love Peach and Lily. I might try their other, I know they have multiple like moisturizers and night creams. So it does come out blue, but once you blend it out or spread it out per se, it doesn't really leave that much of a cast, but I take it all the way down around my neck. And if you're wondering, the acai berry and ginseng are really, really awesome antioxidants for your skin. So that is really awesome to just, you know, get in, go in there and help protect your skin as well from, you know, free radicals, from all the nasties out there. All right, guys, and that is basically my night routine. I think I need to go to bed because I'm freaking exhausted from that whole car ride today and just the trip in general. And I'm so excited to be in my bed. Yeah. But um, I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video and you got a couple tips and tricks. Are you going to try out some of the products? I freaking live for all the products that I talked about. So I'm excited to get this video out to y'all. Then definitely check out Ely Lab and their face mask. It's going to be linked down below. Um, that is literally like the pinnacle of face masks. I feel like it has it's a very calming but also purifying solution of a mask. You also are going to get a, a discount too from then uh, with my link down below. It'll be 5% off, I believe. Give it a thumbs up, it really helps me out a lot. Have a beautiful night or day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.